All right, so hello everybody. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Here we are picking our next place. Like I said, now Jorvik is 190. Uh, yeah, so this one, however you pronounce it, Skir up there is 130 power suggested. And then we also have Vinland, which is 160. Now, I do believe that Vinland is really weird, where, like, you get a bunch of stuff there, but you can't bring it with you for some reason or other. Um, I don't know why, I just remember seeing an article where Ubisoft explained why. Uh, but either way, that won't be, because, like, that one's 130, this one was 160, and so was, that one's 190, so, and this one's, like, a lot. So yeah, we'll go to Skrupshire first. So chill bit has traveled to Shirupshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, king of the Britons. Cheolbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Cheolbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shirupshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the F and Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed. Right. Yeah, we're not doing it in a strange land. You can stop trying to make me do it. Alright. That's not the right button. The hell button is being that. Oh, right. I just finished Skyrim again. Alright. So... All oh, right, which I don't remember what the suggested power was. I really wish that it showed you on here. Um, but yeah, it looks like we only have one place to raid, which is very unfortunate. But hey, we'll hit it up because since it's on the way, there's no reason not to. All right, so yeah, we're gonna head to Seraphis. Oh, fuck, I I already forgot how they pronounced it. Sharapashire? Sure, whatever. Uh, don't think I did anything in between parts besides collect the rest of the treasure and whatnot from London. As you can see, just to change it up a little bit, I did equip a second giant axe. Oof, I don't know if I like that though. That's awfully slow. But I imagine it'll do a lot of damage, although I do remember reading that uh, it does change the stats when you do that. Uh, I don't think I've changed anything about my crew as of yet, anyway. We must so row we shall in these follow waters. the river. Go to Let's the map marker. Alright. Um, but yeah, I think after I finish recording this last time, because it was the last thing I recorded, I went and I got the rest of the treasure from, uh, and whatnot from London, but there was nothing special. Uh, I think I have one artifact left, but it was just another tattoo design that I had to chase down, and all the other treasures were obviously just uh, upgrade materials. I don't think that there was any major treasures left that I did get in the video. Oh god. Oh, this is actually the place to raid. Is it? Is it not? I don't... Say it down. Hang on. That's still not the right button. No, we are not. There, that is a monastery that you can, in fact, raid. Can't raise the sail yet. Oh my, that is a weird... Right? <laughs> I mean, it's not me doing it, guys. You guys kind of got us hooked. Can't, let's back it up. There we are. Let's get off the dock. Monastery bound to be rich pickings. Yeah, if we hadn't already done it. All right. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I did anything else in between. I thought about doing the hunting, but then I didn't because I uh, I was so close to getting all the, the achievements in Skyrim again. I had done it on the 360 at some point, and now I've done it on the one. 
And now, you know what? I want to play Skyrim again, but uh, I want to do it with mods. So I'll download it on my computer. The thing is, though, it's like when I play Skyrim with mods, I don't really download any mods that like, severely the change here. the game. And uh, I've been thinking of doing a video series in it as well, but it would be a somewhat different video series. What I want to do is, because like, uh, I've recently been watching Grovana, uh on YouTube, and he was playing Skyrim. But like his whole Let's Play is called like the 100% playthrough, right? And it is so far from what I would consider 100% playthrough. Well, not so far, but it is very far away from what I would consider 100% playthrough. I kind of wanted to do my own kind of 100% playthrough of the game. Uh, so like I'd want to clear every location, uh, do every quest, collect every unique item, uh, stuff like that. And uh, curious if uh, uh, you guys would be interested in watching it. I mean, uh, I wouldn't start it right now. I don't know when I would start it. It would, it would also be on the PC. So I could also do it as like a supplemental, as just like something that I released whenever I decided to play Skyrim. Like whenever I got in the mood to do it, I would do it and release a video. Uh, but like I have two different ways of doing it as well that I was thinking of. I have one way that is just basically it's a let's play, but I do everything in the game. Uh, and then the other way is like it gets broken up in smaller parts based on each individual quest or end or... Um, location that I'm currently dealing with. So, like, if I went into a cave, right, like, I'd go into it and I'd... And it would actually be, like, in-depth about, like, what's in the cave, like, enemy-wise, uh, treasure-wise, stuff like that. Uh, anything important, any quests that would be attached to it and whatnot. Uh, obviously Skyrim's a fairly old game and a fairly easy game now at this point. Um... So like I said, I don't know if anybody would be interested in that. Um, but it's something that I've been interested in doing. And like, uh... But the reason why I've been like... I don't know what that means. I'm going to assume that he will parry me if I attack him right there. What the hell is this guy? A banneret? There we go. Oh my. <laughs> Good god. That was absolutely brutal. Uh, I'm curious though, any skirmisher. I am curious though as to like whether it was like the speed of my weapons that was letting him dodge me like that. Oh wow, that guy dual wields big weapons as well. Good for him. It's our uh, like fucking demon lord that we got on our team. Uh, but yeah, so like, let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in. Like I said, it would be on computer. It'd be with mods. It would it would still be the vanilla game. Any mods that I download would 100% be like I'm, I'm gonna say supplemental. Like, there's not going to be anything that, like, drastically changes the game because I enjoy Skyrim the way it is. Um, so, like, I would do, like, maybe, like, a, like, I'd have a graphics pack, probably. I would, uh, have, like, the unofficial patch, obviously. And probably some other minor, up like, things that change stuff around. But, like, I wouldn't do anything, like, any of the ones that, like, completely change perks or like perk overhauls or like the magic overhauls or ones that just like completely change quest lines and stuff like that i wouldn't do anything like that hey, um can't do this alone but yeah i'm just curious because like it's something that i would enjoy doing i know um but like if i'm going to do it it would probably be supplemental since like i said skyrim is a fairly old game uh, and if I do do like the in-depth per area, that may not be as um, as fun to watch as just like a regular playthrough of it or something, you know. And uh, obviously nobody really needs a guide for Skyrim. But I think that it would be interesting. Uh, but that could also just be me, because I'm weird like that. That was it? There's no way that was it. Well, I mean, that could very well have been all of, like, the 
the wealth things, but I mean, did we even make it to... Wait, is this it? Oh. I honestly assumed that there was like a bigger abbey somewhere. <laughs> there, but no, that... I mean, I'm going to go up and get... I don't know what this is. I think that one's a mystery, actually. So I might go up and just see what it is. Um... Because I wouldn't mind mixing the mysteries in instead of just doing, like, all the main quests and then coming back and doing the mysteries. I, I wouldn't Wait, mind mixing Farrah. them in. I'm dead. I am so dead. Are you really, though? Speak. What are you? I died a terrible death. Killed by wolves or something. Nobody read the last rites. I'm stuck in purgatory. Have a heart, Wayfarer. Give a little something to help free me. Give something? A little offering to help a fellow out on my journey to the land of the dead. I'm not fooled by trickery. Do not pester dead people. Fifty pieces of silver will be enough to bring me peace. I will find you and kill you. Twelve pieces of silver. You'll soon be dead enough. A head of cabbage? I don't have all day, Wayfarer. You should know so obviously the that's dead do not have an abundance of patience. Uh, Wayfarer, now they did show you Get back here. that there is a way in through the back. We just need to find it. Uh, could be anywhere though because first we need to find a way down obviously because we need to be on the same level he is uh it could very well be in this house uh or right next to these ruins no probably in the house then to go down and get that guy i also like how you didn't even have the option really i gotta so the gold axe that I have, uh, its special ability is to ignite itself, is to ignite my weapons when I have when I get a critical hit, which means I somehow got a critical hit on fucking baskets. Now it is a nice perk or like a nice little thing. Uh, what is this? An entrance. If uh, if like you have something that gives you. A bunch of critical hits. I don't bother to stack critical hits, as you know. I stack more stun because I enjoy it. I enjoy the uh, the counter kills and that. Where I kill them with their own weapons and everything. I find them very enjoyable. I also don't. Uh, the voice of the dead. You appear much livelier than this. Belongs to the living. That's mine. I swindled hard for that. Give it here. Hey, here you fucker. Should have assassinated him. Now when you're I had truly the dead. Speak all you want. No, that's what I thought. I feel like killing him may have been a bit much. Uh, another stor sorry day in my miserable life. It's no joy to drag a stinking corpse and set it just so with sticks and rocks. Then hide, hoping, 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 some drilling. I don't know how to pronounce that word. We'll come along and listen to my tale of purgatory. Uh, making the voice and sound right is no small task, and near every time they aren't fooled and knock the corpse sideways and I have to start a few. But then there are the times when they give silver and believe they've saved a soul. They're so happy to have done something good, and this sad world makes it all worth it, it does. Um, yeah, I feel like killing him may have been a bit much. I feel like scaring him would have been well enough, you know, to get him to stop. But, you know, whatever, apparently Eivor... Decided not to take the half measure. Ooh. You pass by an artifact that's in the water. That intrigues me. Because I don't... Although it may not be in the water. We'll see. If it's in the water, it intrigues me. If it is just like above the water, odds are it's a thing that I have to chase down. And I will not do it. Because uh, I don't think I've got any artifacts. I've got very little from underwater. In this game. Uh, in uh... Origins, there wasn't really a whole lot underwater either, but that makes sense. You're mainly in a desert. Hey! Um, I feel like there's quite a bit, or at least 
enough in Odyssey to make it feel like quite a bit. That was underwater, but I mean, a good chunk of that map was uh, water, so I mean. I don't see anything above the marker, so odds are it is underwater. I mean, there is those artifacts that you need to collect to get Excalibur. Now, the real question is, is do we go back to the um, settlement at the end of this Let's Play to build something? Or do we leave it for, like, once we're, once we're done in the region? We go back, we build something. I think we might leave it until after we're done the region. Mainly because there's not really anything that I'm really, like, excited to build right now. Okay, I just need to push. And what did I get? Oh, a Roman artifact. Okay. That also makes sense. Alright. Well, at least it wasn't a waste of time. That's That was the main goal. But yeah, I don't know why I've been... I guess I probably do know why. I've been like really excited. Or, like I've been just like really all Sail. into Six. fucking Skyrim lately. Um, because I've been watching Sing, somebody else play, it, and that that's all it takes. Like if I watch a let's play, so like, and like I finished Skyrim and I started because Saints Row, the third got a remaster, and it was my favorite Saints Row game. Drop the mask. Uh, gameplay wise, it was my favorite. I will say, like cutscene wise. I want to say music-wise, I guess, 4 is definitely, like, my favorite. Oh, God. Bows. Master! Yeah. Hey, What's wrong with you? Okay. <laughs> well, let's see if there's a way to get rid of these. I imagine I can set them on fire. Maybe if I just swing my axes, I'll get a critical hit on nothing. Mm -hmm. And it will, uh allow me to do it. Okay, well, I mean, I need either explosive barrels or, like, even just, like, a campfire would technically do it. So I could just set my arrow on fire with that. Um, can I actually just break it if I hit it? No, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, I'm not seeing any barrels. I see arrows. I mean, there's another hut over there that I'll want to investigate. Nothing in the cart. <laughs> you see this over here, which could indicate a fire. No, no idea what the point of this thing is. We'll go and look in the hut. Is that Avar humming? Oh, I also see something up there. And before I swim all the way across and potentially find nothing, let's go to the much closer thing I see and potentially find nothing. Although that's also along the way to that, which has a stable, so odds are that's a town. Yeah, that's Quatberg, or that's going to be Quatberg. That's actually where we're headed. But I'd like to get my boat over here. Uh, I don't think that their arrows would take it out. I mean, maybe. It, to be fair, it doesn't make sense that arrows would take it out. But... Somebody's whistling, though, and I feel like since Ivor's head is in the water, it's not him. Just a guess. I don't think that he's quite that talented. Okay, well, there's a little fire there that I might be able to use to light my bow on fire. There's a treasure in here, dude. Oh, I see it was a window. And a bird. Yay, I got a heron beak. All those people come streaming into Quatford hoping to find blood. We are but a village. We have no place nor bread nor shelter nor patience. Okay. I'm going to assume that my treasure is back here. Yep. Don't have anything, eh? Well, what is this then? 
Oh, so if I had opened up this other window, I still wouldn't have been able to get in. Interesting. Alright, so let's... Got it. Now, as long as I keep my bow out like this... It, uh, and don't, like, put it away for very long, I should be good to keep it lit all the way there. I also don't know that this is going to work. Uh, as far as I know, as long as it doesn't go away, or as long as I don't put it away, it should stay lit. Um, I don't know that, but I'm going to assume so. I mean, there's got to be a way to break this, right? And I don't think that you can just ram them. So that would kind of defeat the purpose of them blocking your boat's path. Boosh. And apparently you can't light them on fire. Which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, I don't seem to I mean I don't seem to be doing anything to them. There was no explosive barrels, which would obviously help. Uh, it could just be that you don't get through here right now. I mean, sure. And if we turn, boat, fire. Yeah, none of you are. Uh... Yeah, I don't think I can get past this then. That might actually just be something that I don't do. Well, that's a little dramatic, Eivor. You could have just got off. I mean, I was pointing towards the shore. Hmm. Weird. I'm going to assume that there's a way to get rid of those that is either story, like quest-based, or just I don't know it, which obviously doesn't help, but... We're down Quatford. So let's see if they know why they've uh, blocked up the river. Wee oui, wee. Oui. That sounded very French. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I don't actually know what he said. Your King Rodri's in there, begging on his chubby knees for peace. Peace? Who wants peace? I mean, apparently, King whatever. <sighs> I'm assuming that this will be something that we have to deal with. Find to speak with Chalbert. Sure. <laughs> I'd probably be upset, but I mean, I don't know what the kid is screaming about, so. Oh, goody, another fucking chase. Well, you know what? I'm on the way. And I was already sprinting, so. Oh, Nate, look at that. You come over here and say that. Come on, take a swing of me, a good swing. Something 21 meters. Sorry, King Woods. Peace. Oh, poor so far from home. Nope, that not Those gonna talk to you. I know what you way. are. You're one of those annoying little brats. What can quest. I get for you? Hi, I just would like to sell you some stuff. I imagine I have quite a bit. You always bring the strange. Uh, finish looking around. I always bring the strangest things. I mean, I must be on my way now. It's Goodbye. the first time that I've ever been here, so I feel like that can't be true. Well, I mean, I guess it could be true, but you would have no way of knowing. 161, 153. Oh, there's a guy that I can hire over there. Yeah, hey, look at that guy. Uh, Stretch your wings, Sudan. No, he's not in the alehouse, eh? I'm assuming that's what it is. Oh, that would make more sense where he's over at the longhouse. Yeah. There's Orlog in there, though. I'll have to do that in between this part and the next part. Gotta keep my rep up as the best dice player there is. It's a drinking match there, but I don't. We've had nothing for days. 
nettle and turnips. It's all I can find. Smells good, that. There you go, young man. Curse this war. Letter from Lady Angarax. We believe you speak for Sparapire on matters of war. King Laudry will wipe will arrive with his retinue on your proposed date to discuss peace between us. See to it that the king's brother, Guirard at Murfin, is present, as his fate is a particular interest to our king. <laughs> Not half bad, boy, but be fierce, dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Guria that Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dayalov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. Mm. It is a grave thing to be elderman in the time of war, Jelbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. As future Elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is the king and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him. Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me king killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word, then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. And Ivor is gonna be a Ivar is gonna be a problem, I think. Ooh, the Book of Dragons, eh? Interesting. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Brit. Why are we getting Britons for coming on two years? Just across the village. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me, and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Ivar. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. He parted. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. <laughs> I fucking parked my horse in the way. Uh, aren't we going up here? Our Bishop right? Dayalov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These okay. houses of Christ, they are all so hard and cold. Yet within his warmth, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dayalov, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. You say so. I mean, I have a feeling that it won't. Just a guess, based on the fact that this is the first quest of this region. Captain Anil, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlav. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You... I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call Boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. 
Rogers. No. Um. Now is not the time for keeping grudges. We are here to smooth the path to peace. Peace, peace, peace. Not with this bag of Britain fluff. On that, we are agreed. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwiriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Chelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. Okay, interesting. I would actually be really impressed and um, if they actually made it where we could, right here, right now, solve this region's problem. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Alderman yet. Have you made progress? The giving of silver is more difficult than I imagined. Okay, interesting. Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? I have yet to make my decision. Please, don't tarry. You are Should know better, better than talking. Eivor. Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would that quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver to be had, I will think about it. You do that. I mean, I have 650, right? Now like, that's what he gave me, and that's what I'm going to be offering to people. Are you so but now the question is, is can I offer my own silver as well? Uh, oh, this is his brother. You are Guriat, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. So I am, and a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. Would I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bought, you understand. I make no promises, but I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Britain's soldiers from Shropshire, and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. Oh, I mean, that we'll seems... see about the silver. I mean, assuming he's not lying, that so seems like a really good the fucking Britain deal. That you fight your battles with wealth? You are with Rodri, yes? Talk, talk, One of his advices. talk. All we I do that. is talk. Amir Abkadvach, by name. Address me proper. Tell me, um, soldier. Do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, we will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will come available. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. I'm waiting! We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. Let's see. Oh, 
Das ist ja ein King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwyriad is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. Ah, enough of this nonsense! Um, I thought that maybe we could speak to his wife. Because she seemed to be... Oh, is this her here? Have you made progress? Oh, that's Jumper. I couldn't tell because of that. Oh, wait, that one. Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. This brings immense strain to Rotary. And is every decision. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. If such a boon comes, I will consider your words. Alright, well, it seems like I could convince his advisor or her to aim for peace. Uh, I highly doubt that giving Avar the... or Ivar... Ivar whatever i'm gonna stick with ivar the gold uh silver i mean would uh make a difference so i'm gonna go with his brother here Guriot, that seems like the best choice to buy me a throne what say you now Take once again i doubt that this will work out and you will rule with our support odds are I ivar is gonna do something to fuck it up but uh at least this no way I should report what I know to Bishop Dale. It might Able, turn out better. Friend. I spoke with more people. Have you made a decision at last? Eva is increasingly agitated. Rodri's brother will use the silver to take the crown himself by force. He promised rebellion. Are you sure this was wise? Rodri, I see you mocking me. I challenge you. Single Eva, combat no. now. Boneless Eva. Spineless, toothless. Gutless. You cannot kill me. A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother. Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll. Get him to safety. Go, quickly. Kill the boneless one. Paint this chapel with his blood. Ivar, 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 you fucking oh, no, fool. I swear it! Well, at least I got my silver back. What have you done? Aha! Eat fire, bitches! Oof. God, that. Now I imagine that because, like it said, that if you equip two of them or two heavy weapons, that it would change their stats. I have a feeling that it just lowered the damage on probably one of them. Because considering how slow the attacks are, they would have had to give you some kind of a boost to damage for equipping two of them. Now that is Viking or diplomacy. Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Eva, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Chilbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord, stay here where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! Alright. So I have a feeling that it doesn't matter who you give the silver to then. Um, although other people did leave, so it is potentially possible that if uh, you give out, you give it to anyone else and you can't, like, reload it, you know? Like, the fact that we gave it to him and he, and we got it back at, you know, 
is probably something that wouldn't have happened if we'd given it to probably anyone else. Are you? Boosh. Boosh. Oh, he missed, although I don't know who you were aiming at, so me too did. Okay, get rid of you. I am curious as to, like, if these are, uh... Oh, if these are, like, breaking, like, their guards and that a little bit faster, maybe. Since it's a heavy weapon, I never really paid attention when I was using just my regular axe if it was breaking their shields faster. Oh god, there's so many of these little bricks. Yeah, there we go. Well, we're almost through them if the blue markers are coming up. It's like a Evar. I mean, here's the thing, right? Like, I know that they pronounce the letters differently. And there's times where, like, they just straight up pronounce them however the fuck they please. But I really wish that if they were going to put it in subtitles, that they would just put it in there the way that it's spelled. Okay, so we're going to have to kill this guy then. The king, whatever his name was. I don't remember because it doesn't matter. Oh my, that is a lot of, uh... A lot of people in the water. Got them. Kill the days. Oh, it's another one of these. Just run away. I mean, they were on fire, but they were also in water. I feel like the fire was immediately went out. Really? Wow, that did you see how many hits that guy blocked with this here? Oh, I hear Chailbert chewing out uh e bar. Good. Fucking deserves it. I mean I, I you know, in all honesty, I gave it to his brother for two reasons. First, I figured you know, it is definitely the best offer on the table. All things considered. And secondly, I figured it might have had like the least amount of chance of Ivar regretting because it still would have led to battle. Like I'm like I kind of assume that if we did it that way that uh, we would help with said rebellion, you know? Um. Honestly, I wasn't even trying to do all that. I uh, was trying to loot stuff. Good god. Wow, there's a lot left this time. With, uh... With blue arrows up. Man, at least we tear through them pretty quickly. Good god, what carnage. We must let Bishop Dale have know that the battle is done. Okay. If he's even alive when we get back. Because who knows. <sighs> but yeah. I would. It would have been nice. I really want to see. Because like. You uh, yourself proud, Adeling. This was not a battle we needed, Eva. When you are king, Jailbird, you won't need battles. You will crave them. Will he though? I feel like he definitely won't. It does not seem like the type. I'm just curious if we're going to end up killing Ivar at some point. Because I really feel like at some point he's going to die. From us, probably. I'm not quite sure why yet. But I just feel like it's coming. You murdered Rotary's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. 
Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury, scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Westbury then, once I've done some damage. Until then. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. It's weird to me that the bishop is, uh... Helping with this, you would think that he'd be like a neutral party that was just interested in getting peace, not like doing this. Good bishop. Have you made progress, my friend? Some. Have no fear. Okay. Well, I'm assuming that we talk to him at some point later then. Uh, let's see, how long have we been going? Because obviously we have to leave, so if we've been going long enough. 47 minutes. Uh... couple of treasures here. The supply line is right across the river. Um, oh, and we've already sacked Winlikin Abbey. That's probably why it, uh... Find Winlikin outpost. Okay, well, I mean, maybe it's not the Abbey then. It does say that we have to find it, but if it's Winlikin... Abbey there, I have to assume that the outpost is also there. Also, apparently, uh, there's going to be a legendary bear here, I'm assuming from that. Uh, odds are, if I do the viewpoints, it'll reveal them, so I might do the viewpoints in between parts as well. But let's mark these. Right, there's one up top here. I can get to because if we can, because I think we'll just grab some of the treasure that's in the town, <coughs> uh, in the town, uh, before we end the part. Uh, but yeah, I would really have enjoyed it if they had actually made it where it's like, here's this quest line, but if you do stuff correctly, right at the beginning of it, it'll like skip a bunch. Like, it'll, like, fit, like, it'll just be done. Uh, I can see why they wouldn't do it, in all honesty, because, obviously, if they did do that, um, people would be like, oh, well, why you got, you know, I did everything right, and it just took away gameplay from me. It's like, well, then don't fucking do it right. I mean, like, it's not that hard, but, and, but I can imagine that's probably why they didn't do it, if I had to guess. Uh, but I would like to see something like that where, because I mean, there's quite a few games like this where you have like political-ish talks, you know, you have like a peace talk or something like this. And it never, it obviously, it is, I don't think I've ever played one where it's actually been up to you as to whether or not it's gone well. Um, I said, I just recently finished Skyrim again and, uh, I, you, uh. I hadn't done the Civil War before I finished the main quest line. And, uh... So I had to do the, uh... Peace Conference or whatever, right? I mean, I did it, but whether or not it turned out well, I don't really know. Uh... Excuse me, there's a message for you. No, there's not. Uh, but, like, even there, like... 
I, I don't I don't know how much choice you have in it because like I didn't bother to look it up because like I had made a save long before I started because like I had just been playing the game and I was playing on more or less 100% but then like as I was going there was like things that I wanted to do that I couldn't really do without mods which basically was more or less decorating my house properly you know I wanted to download a mod where I could like actually play stuff and it wouldn't like warp around or fall through the floor and whatnot and even like a mod like that uh fucking shuts off achievements so I had made a save before I decided, and then, like, I was just burning through the achievements. Like, I did zero fucks being given, right? I was just like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get all the achievements and whatnot, and then, uh, then I'll be done. And then I was planning on doing it with, uh, Fallout 4 as well, just burning through the rest of the achievements. I still have a lot of achievements so that I, you know, I can use mods on it. Um, and, in all honesty, probably restart, because there's... 100%, like, Skyrim, I can play without mods perfectly fine. I have zero issue playing Skyrim without mods, because there's so few things in it that, uh, like, I feel like there's so few things in it that I need to fix with mods. And the things that I would like to fix are very minor things. There's obviously, oh, like, shit. oh, what the fuck, I definitely was not on fire. Uh, like, there's obviously, like, quest items that, uh, oh, fucking Damn hell. Like, there's obviously, like, quest items that you can't get rid of Damn, out of your inventory. Uh, that's annoying, but, you know, whatever, they don't actually take up any weight in your inventory, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, and stuff like that, right? Like, placing the stuff in the houses and whatnot. Uh, having more control over your followers and that. And the thing is, right... Is I want to do it on the computer, mainly because it's a lot easier to find mods on the computer. Like I don't know if the mods that I want are actually gonna are actually available on the Xbox One. In fact, I may actually look up the mods I want to see if because I don't know if there's even a way for me to. Uh, ooh, a brigandine cape. That's a new armor set entirely. Well then, let's see what stats they give. Let's see if it's better than our. Increased armor when surrounded by more than two enemies, an additional increase to melee damage. Well, that's actually pretty fucking good. I will admit, we may end up switching to that once we get the whole set, because, I mean, extra, you know, less damage taken, more damage given. It's fairly basic, but, it, I mean, it's hard to argue with it. Okay, uh, okay, yeah, our other treasure that's here is... Uh, but yeah, but like as for Fallout 4, I feel like there's so much because like obviously like the settlement building in Fallout 4 is way more in depth than like Hearth Firehouse is. I mean, I don't think there's any, but he was going to argue that point. Um, but at the same time, like I, once again, like to decorate my towns in that. And like uh, the thing that more or less made me stop playing Fallout 4 and... Uh, the last time was like I had spent so much time. I actually did a building chat in uh for a video there where I was just like building. I ended up building a uh, cafeteria type deal. I don't think that's quite the right word for it, but uh, in Fallout Four, that's what I was doing. As I was talking about whether or not like they should have like settlement building, or if they do have settlement building in that in Elder Scrolls Six, what it should be like. And, uh, if you watched it, you would have seen the, uh, more or less the cafeteria place that I had made. And, uh, I had spent so much time one day where I put, like, food, water, and that, like, I built shelves and everything, and I had all this, like, different, you know, I had, like, different foods on display, uh, my bottled water and whatnot, uh, all the different alcohols and that that I had brought in, I had all this on display, and then, uh, I come back one time and it all fell through the shelves and it's on the ground, and it's like, alright, well, fuck you then, game. Uh, but yeah, I still have so many achievements in that game to get that it's like, it would just take me so long to get them all, you know? That I don't know if it would necessarily, like, I don't know if I could burn through all those achievements and then still want to play it again because so many of the around. achievements in Fallout 4 consist of collectibles, like getting all the bobbleheads, getting 
skill books. Uh, I don't remember the rest. I mean, obviously, I still have some like quest line stuff to do, but I just don't know. Um, join me but anyway, that'll be it for this part. I think that may have taken. Oh no, no, we're good. We're still under an hour. Uh, so yeah, next part, we will go and talk to the workers or whatever it was across the stream so that we can find out where they're hiding all their good shit and then My yeah we'll start dismantling his supply line so thanks everybody for watching and i will see you on thursday for more